गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम स्मिता कौशिक एंड इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल द रिसोर्सेज दैट आई यूज ड्यूरिंग माय जी मैट प्रिपरेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर ओनली गोइंग टू कवर द रिसोर्सेज दैट आई यूज ड्यूरिंग माय जी मैट प्रिपरेशन फॉर जी मैट प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रेटजी एंड द रूटीन दैट आई फॉलो ड्यूरिंग माय ड्यूरिंग द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ माय एंटायर प्रिपरेशन यू कैन रेफर टू द वीडियोस मेंशन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स before planning all the resources that you require for your gmat preparation and before planning the entire practice module you have to understand what gmat is how it works as an exam gmat is an exam which is mainly about three things one is the accuracy you need to attain an accuracy rate of almost 90% to score more than 700 in the exam also for attaining that kind of accuracy you need to be very exhaustive so the second point is exhaustiveness you need to be very exhaustive in your preparation you need to go through all the sections all the different types of questions and the concepts that are related to those questions and then the third thing is practice you need to practice a lot in order to sit through gmat for all those long four hours you need to practice a lot to attain a certain level of speed in each of the sections if that is something that you are struggling towards so these are the three things that you need to keep in mind and plan your resources accordingly some of these students often commit this mistake of going after resources that contain more tough questions because they may feel that the questions that are present on official guide are pretty easy but they often tend to forget that gmat is an exam which is more about practice exhaustiveness and accuracy rate so in that kind of situation you need to focus on buying additional resources which has question that are more similar to official guide and practice test on mba.com because these resources contains question which have been retired from gmat and mirror the questions that are actually being asked in the official gmat exam I would like to divide the entire resources that you will require for GMAT preparation in three categories. One is the concept related resources, other is the practice related resources and the thirds are forum which are reliable and can help you find a community with whom you can prepare. Now I want to discuss four things that you need to take care of while preparing for GMAT. The first one is understanding the patterns, understanding the different types of questions that are being asked. you can consider quants to be a particular section but you need to divide it you need to understand that there are different types of questions being asked in quant one is problem solving the other is data sufficiency different skill set is required to excel in both of them within quants also there can be questions related to fractions questions related to unitary method questions related to permutation combination and when you understand what are the different types of questions that are being asked what are the different chapters that are being tested on in gmat you can move on to the next step the next step is concepts understanding the underlying concepts that are related to those sections those types of questions for example in permutation combination if you don't understand the basic formulas of permutation and combination you won't be able to solve those kind of questions A similar example applies to verbal for example in sentence correction if you have questions that deal with basic tenses and your grammar is not that strong you won't be able to handle those questions so in that case you need to go back and revise all those concepts third point is about practice you need to practice a lot what may happen during due course of time is that you might focus on a certain section and might forget about might lose touch with some of the other sections you cannot let it happen so in your leisure time when you have nothing planned you can go through gmat club you can go through beat the gmat and solve few random questions of different sections every week so that you are in touch with all the different variety of questions that are being asked on gmat and also practice will help a lot in terms of discipline and in terms of increasing the speed with which you are working on those questions the final is revision whenever you are practicing any question whenever you are giving any practice test you need to make sure that you go back and revise the concepts if you are getting any of the questions wrong you just need to do an overall revision all the time whenever you are studying so that the knowledge remains fresh in your mind so these are the four things that you need to re remember 
understanding the patterns, understanding the different questions that are being asked. Second is uh, reading all the concepts which are leading to mistakes. Third is practice, practice a lot. And final is keep on revising. While buying resources, you need to focus on two types of resources. One is concept related, the other is practice related. In concept related resources, you need to buy resources that can help uh, you in brushing all your basics related to verbal and quants and also you need to focus on certain resources that can help you in working towards strengthening your weak areas. Second thing that you require are practice questions. Practice questions can help you in increasing your accuracy, increasing your speed and most importantly when you are working through certain concepts it can help you test out whether your understanding of those concepts. Some important tip that I want to give here is whenever you are looking for practice questions, make sure that they mirror the question that is available on the official guide or on the practice test because these are the kind of questions that will be asked on the actual GMAT. For concept related resources, I only purchased the resources that were required for the areas I was weak in. I then go on a rampage to find all the resources that are available for GMAT and that is something very important that you should keep in consideration only buy the resources that are more pertinent to your weak areas because you might end up holding a lot of resources, piling it up and you might not even have the time or the energy to go through all of them. So focus on only buying the resources which can help resolve your weak area. Now let's quickly move on to listing down the resources. The first and foremost is official guide. You need to solve official guide at least twice and move on to other resources if you feel that you have learned. Actually you remember most of the answers from the questions of official guide and you are not actually solving through them. Then move on to other resources. In that kind of situation questions available on GMAT club beat the GMAT and some of the Manhattan guide can help. For sentence correction, I bought the sentence correction guide from Manhattan. It was quite helpful in clearing out all the basics that I required for excelling in GMAT. In maths, I felt that I was pretty good at so I bought the advanced guide that was available from Manhattan and it was quite good. It helped me enormously in clearing out concepts such as permutation and combination which was a weak area for me. I was struggling in speed for reading and comprehension and for that I purchased the reading and comprehension guide from Manhattan. Aside from these paperback resources, I also got the verbal guide from EGMAT and I felt that it gave me an it gave an enormous boost to my verbal score. I saw an improvement of almost 30 to 40 percent after going through the entire verbal guide. Aside from these resources, I also logged into GMAT Club and beat the GMAT. I use these two forums in order to leverage large repository of practice questions that they have. And also while going through all the comments that were around those questions helped a lot in clearing out a lot of content. I want to be more specific about the resources that I use from GMAT Club and Beat the GMAT. First and foremost was 1000 SC. There's an entire repository of almost 1000 questions of sentence correction in GMAT Club and also in Beat the GMAT. And this came in really hand handy in improving my accuracy rate for sentence correction. Whenever I was traveling, whenever I was standing in a queue, I used to solve four or five questions from that, uh, that particular section. And that helped me nail down most of the sentence correction questions in my practice. I was decent enough in critical reasoning and reading comprehension so I didn't focus on solving through the entire set of reading comprehension and critical reasoning questions that were available on GMAT club. I mostly focused on the toughest critical reasoning question and toughest reading comprehension questions that are available there. You can do a Google search and find the link for these questions and I'll also mention them in the description box. Also my performance in quants was pretty decent so I focused mainly on 700 level quants question that were available in GMAT club. You can again do a Google search and find different PDFs that will be uploaded on the, that particular forum in GMAT club. And these are very, uh, these are section wise. You can find questions for permutation, combination, number system. And according to the area that you want to work upon, you can download these uh, PDF and work through those questions. Now let's talk about the most important resource. These are practice tests. You get two free practice tests from MBA.com. And because I had purchased few books from Manhattan, I got additional free six practice tests from uh, Manhattan Prep. 
if even if you haven't got any books from manhattan you can access one free practice test from M manhattan after solving entire set of six practice tests from manhattan i felt that these course i was getting on manhattan tests were not reflective of what i can get on the gmat they were good for speed they were good for improving your accuracy getting into the discipline for sitting for four hours but the questions were a bit more difficult compared to gmat standard so i went ahead and invested in four tests from mba.com the cost was somewhere around 7000 but i still feel it was a very worthwhile investment my entire gmat preparation was lopsided towards verbal so when i talked about practice and revision and staying in touch with different sections that's where beat the gmat came in there was some subscription available on beat the gmat that every day you will get a quant question in your inbox and that helped me a lot in staying connected with all the different sections that are being asked on quants and every day it was quite exciting to receive a question going through it thinking whether i'll be able to solve it or not revising the concept related to that question and it came in real handy thanks a lot guys for staying till the end of this video i included all the resources that i used during my actual gmat preparation if you have any questions any doubts any follow up questions also then you can mention it in the com comments if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up all the resources that i have talked about in this video will be available in the description box don't forget to go through them and in the end if you like this video if you want to see more videos from me don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon so that you get notification whenever i post a video bye